What is up all of my horror fanatics out there? Welcome back to Late Night Frots. I'm the Late Night Frots horror leader, the Jay Sloan or Jordan, back here to do another video for you. And as always, guys, I want to thank everyone for tuning in this evening. Last week we did a theme and we actually did our Supernatural theme. And if you haven't checked that out, please go do so. It was a great theme. It was a great week all around and everyone did a great video. So now that we did that theme, obviously this week we are doing horror battles. Now, the two films that I chose to battle are not full-blown horror films, but they do have horror aspects in both of them. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to mix things up. Now, these two films have never been talked about here on Late Night Frights before uh, by me or anyone else. And uh, I just thought it would be cool to battle these two, uh, seeing how they're so, uh, so, they're so alike, but they're also so different. And they're both horror musicals or uh, rock and roll musicals, whatever you want to say. And the first one is... Phantom of the Paradise versus the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, so I'm going to start off by reviewing Phantom of the Paradise. Phantom of the Paradise. Okay, so Phantom of the Paradise was made in 1974. It was directed by Brian De Palma, who has done so many great films over the years, a few of which being Carrie, Dressed to Kill, The Untouchables, and many more. Uh, this is one of his earlier films. And this one stars Paul Williams, Jessica Harper, William Finley, and Garrett Graham. And the basic plot around this one follows a character named Winslow Leach, uh, who in the beginning of the film is playing a song uh, for the, uh, the owner or the operator, the guy who runs uh, Death Records. His name is Swan. And he's playing a song for him, and Swan is trying to find, he's been trying to find for years, a, the right music, the right melody, the right sound to open up uh, to his new theater, The Paradise, uh, where people can come and play music, and it's supposed to be the biggest thing that he's ever done. Well, he hears Winslow Leach's song, and he really likes it, but he doesn't like Winslow Leach. He wants his song, so he decides to steal his music, his cantata that he's been working on for so many years. They trick Winslow into giving them a piece of his music, and uh, he finds out that they're using it without his permission. They want nothing to do with him. It ends up to the point where Swan actually throws Winslow in jail, in prison for life, where they pull out his teeth, and they basically turn him into a mindless person, or they try to turn him into a mindless person, and they framed Winslow. And it, it's basically about his downfall. He escapes from prison, wanting to get his revenge on Swan, and in the process, he disfigures his face and ruins his singing voice. So that happens, and then after that happens, his you know his entire purpose is destroying um, Swan and everything that Swan is trying to build. That's not the full thing. There's some things that happen over time in the film, uh, some different minor plots and stuff that you know push its way into the film, so, stuff that happens between Swan and Winslow, and also a character named Phoenix, and uh, Gary Graham's character, Beef, which I'm not going to go into. I want to leave that, you know, I just want to leave it at that and let you guys go into it open-minded uh, and go into it not knowing some of the other subplots and some of the other minor things that are in the film because they all mix together at the end. It's very weird. 
Um, but a great film. I have never seen this movie before. I had never seen this movie before until last night. And I was really surprised, although it is somewhat of a musical. I mean, uh, they burst into song uh, sometimes in the film. But it's not a full-blown musical. It, there's real acting there. There's real emotion. And the songs feel so real, uh, so real and legit. Uh, and they have so much heart behind them. And uh, I just loved every bit of this movie, from the acting to the music. Uh, it just—it was just so great. The setting, uh, *Phantom of the Paradise* is a great one. Definitely check it out. This is the Arrow Video Steelbook release, which is just a beautiful release. Um, Screen Factory also released a really awesome edition. So if you don't own this film, buy it on whatever format you can. Definitely check it out. And that's my review over *Phantom of the Paradise*. Okay, so now I'm going to review the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, so the Rocky Horror Picture Show was made in 1975. It was directed by Jim Sharman, starring Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon, Richard O'Brien, Barry Beswick, Nell Campbell, and Patricia Quinn. Now, the basic plot around this one follows a young couple who is soon to be married, but before their marriage, they decide to go see one of their old friends or one of their old teachers, I'm not sure which. But on their way to see this person, they actually uh, get stranded. A tire blows out and they have nowhere to go, and it starts to storm really bad. So out of the distance, they see this, uh, this big mansion, and they decide to go see if they have a telephone. Now, the crazy things is what happens when they get in the mansion. When they get in the mansion, they soon meet all these weird and wacky people, all these crazy characters, uh, one being the character of Frankenfurter, played brilliantly by Tim Curry, uh, who is like a new take or a new variation on a mad scientist. Uh, he soon tells them, you know, come up to my lab and see what I've been making. I'm building a person. And you go, they go up to his lab and they see that he is, in fact, making a person, like a Frankenstein. Uh, and he calls him Rocky. So... That's the basic plot of this one. They're basically stuck in this house. All kinds of weird, crazy shit's happening. Uh, it has a really good cast. I mean, Meatloaf is even a part of this film for a very short time. Um, but it, it's more of a musical. It's a horror musical. There's so many genres mixed in with it. Horror, science fiction, comedy, musical. I mean, all of it wraps, wraps into one big film and does it very well. Now, this film is very weird and wacky. I mean, Tim Curry plays a really crazy and outlandish character. He plays Frankenfurter, who is a transvestite uh, character from Transyl Transylvania, uh, or Transylvania. And uh, there's a deeper plot to it towards the end of the movie. You can see where the science fiction comes into play. I'm not going to spoil it. But, I mean, this had a brilliant cast. I mean, Susan Sarandon, a very young Susan Sarandon, who was in her uh, underwear for 50% of the movie, which is not bad either. Um, Tim Curry does a good job as always, although it was a weird and just out there kind of character. He played it to to the best of his ability, I believe. Uh, we had uh, Riff Raff in there, who was an amazing character, played by Richard O'Brien, who actually wrote uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, don't I didn't do full research, so I'm not sure if he wrote it, but I believe he wrote. Uh, the, he was the creator of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Also, Rocky himself in there. That was cool. And the music really blends in well with the film. And uh, the the ending is, is pretty cool. You know, don't dream it, be it. That's a cool ending if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, what can I say? This film started off very poorly in the box office, I believe. Um, but it, over time, it's grew its cult following. So yeah, I've always enjoyed the Rocky Horror Picture Show, although it is very weird and wacky. It's just one of those films you have to see once, and you're either going to love it or hate it. So there's my review over the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, now that I've reviewed both of these films, it is time to battle them to the death. Round one, kills. Which one had better kills or deaths? Um, that's a hard round, seeing as neither one of these were uh, based on body counts or kills. Um, I believe they both equally had four kills in them, if I counted correctly. Uh, and I watched both of these films last night, so I do believe they had four kills apiece. Which one did I prefer? Um, let's see. I thought the kills, uh, there was some really good throwbacks in Phantom of the Paradise, you know, Psycho, uh, Phantom of the Opera, a lot of good throwbacks in here, as well as the Rocky Horror Picture Show with, like, uh, King Kong and many other uh, throwbacks and references. Uh, I think, damn, this is a hard one, because I really like the kills, 
Um, I'm going to have to say the kills were uh, more creative in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, especially with the laser at the end, which I won't uh, spoil or get into. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to give this round to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. When the kills occurred, they were, some of them were actually pretty bloody uh, and brutal, especially one, which I won't say. Um, but, yeah, they're more creative in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, but there were some really fun ones in Phantom of the Paradise, too. But the Rocky Horror Picture Show takes round one. Round two, story and originality. Now, which film do I think was more original and had a better story? Um, Phantom of the Paradise was made first, although it took a lot of things from Phantom of the Opera and other films. Um, and then the Rocky Horror Picture Show also took some things from uh, other musicals that have been made pri that have been made prior to it. Um, I'm gonna have to say Phantom of the Paradise. It was just a story that I enjoyed more. Uh, it was a little bit less wacky than the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but it worked. Uh, I felt the storyline, I felt the acting, and I really felt for Winslow Leash as a character. Uh, so I'm going to have to give the round two, Phantom of the Paradise. It has taken round two. Moving on to round three. Now my usual round three is Blood, Guts, and Gore and Practical Effects. Now seeing as both of these films really lack in that area because they weren't made for that reason, I have decided to change round three up for this battle only and my next battle will be reverted back to the original round three. But for now, I've decided to make it music which film had better music and seeing as both of these films are horror musicals or rock and roll musicals whatever you want to say they rely heavily on music so i've thought about this for a while it's really hard to decide which one i like better but you know thinking back on it and really comparing the music in the two i've decided i like the music in phantom of the paradise just a little bit more than the rocky horror picture show now both of these films have great music. Music that stands out, songs that feel real and realistic, and that's why I like both of them. But it was really hard for me to decide, but you know, in the end it had to come down to Phantom of the Paradise. So Phantom of the Paradise has took this round. Okay, moving on to the final round, personal enjoyment and replayability. Um, which one do I personally enjoy more? Which one would I pop in right now and play it? And this is a hard round for me. This is overall a hard battle for me because I love both films. I think both films are great. And you should definitely check out both of them. But for me, personally, if I had to narrow it down, I'm going to have to say that I personally enjoyed Phantom of the Paradise a little bit more than the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I was just really impressed with the acting. I mean, everyone did a good job. Uh, the directing by Brian De Palma was awesome. I mean, the, the style of this movie, the setting, everything about it, the music. Uh, I mean, I felt bad for the lead, Winslow Leach. Everything that happened to him was very depressing, and he never could get on top. I mean, this is just a dramatic character who can never get anything right for him. And it, it's it's a cool story. It really is. And it doesn't feel like a musical, whereas the Rocky Horror Picture Show feels more like a musical. They burst out into song and dance a lot during this movie, which is a good thing. I think that works for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This feels like a, a really good movie with true acting, and everyone does a great job in it. And I was I was really impressed with it. I went into it with medium expectations. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did, but I ended out I ended up coming out very happy. Now I just want to say the Rocky Horror Picture Show is a classic. It's a cult classic. It's gained so many followers over time. I love the film. Uh, but I don't know. I just it couldn't win this battle. I don't think it's better than Phantom of the Paradise. But definitely check out both films. Buy these together. Watch them. I mean, they're great. Uh, I, I consider them horror musicals. They both have great horror aspects to them, uh, and I enjoyed watching both of them. Uh, I'd seen, obviously, the Rocky Horror Picture Show previously. I'd just seen this last night, and I just really enjoyed both films. So if you haven't checked them out, definitely check out Phantom of the Paradise and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, so once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in this evening. You've just watched my battle over Phantom of the Paradise versus the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And yes, Phantom of the Paradise did come out on top. It did win this battle. It is victorious. But I still do love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I think it is such a classic flick. And if you haven't seen either of these films, what are you doing? You need to pick them up immediately and check them out. Um, so comment down below and tell me what you thought of this battle. Do you prefer Phantom of the Paradise or the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Which one will win in your battle? Also stay tuned, Chris Brock will be, will be battling two films of his choice tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, and that will continue on out through the week with the members that we have. So you just watched Late Night Frots. I'm the Jay Sloan. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and as always, guys, keep it horror. Peace.